Okay, I decided that I'm going to do a short video because I'm waiting for the ban list to update for Arena, which I have no idea why it didn't go up yesterday. Actually, I think I know why, but I'm not going to comment on it because it's stupid. There's really no reason for a delay, but that besides the point. Um, I want to go ahead and use the time to uh, react to uh, all the spoilers that have been dropped thus far for M21. Um, some of these I've already seen. I haven't... This is the first spoiler video, so things like you can give my opinions on, and that really won't be, you know, reaction. It'll just be more talking about it. Um, so, let's uh, get into it. Uh, like the video, comment on it, subscribe, any or all of those uh, helps me out, lets me know that Somewhere out there, there's someone enjoying the conversation and lets me know if I should continue it or just shut the hell up. <laughs> so, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see. Peer into the abyss. Let's read this here. Uh, four colorless, three black. Target player draw ca draws cards equal to half the number of cards in their library and loses half of their life. Round up each time. Uh, can you say I'm the reason fires got banned? because they, or I'm the tipping point, I'm the straw that broke the camel's back, because, like, can you imagine this in, good lord, like, Grixis? I mean, I'm not 100% sure what else is in the game that doesn't limit your hand size. Um, I know it, there's something recent that doesn't, but can you imagine having cast, controlled out the game so well, and then cast, um, the uh, finale of whatever the hell it is with the picture of Ugin on it, and you have no maximum hand size, or whatever that gives you no maximum hand size, just play this. Sure, I'll lose half my life and draw half of the cards in my deck. Um, that's not going to contribute to something degenerate. Jeez. Um, we'll see. Uh, I like the art style. They're, uh, the frames are looking pretty cool. Um, pretty neat island. Okay, Rin and Sari the inseparable. Okay. One, and then one of each for Naya colors, red, green, white. Legendary creature, dog, cat. Whenever you cast a dog spell, create a 1-1 one, one green cat creature token. Whenever you cast a cat spell, create a 1-1 one, one white dog creature token. Okay. Pay Naya colors, tap. Ren and Sari, inseparable, deals damage to any target equal to the number of dogs you control. You can life equal to the number of cats you control. That's pretty neat. Um, don't know that it'll really have any kind of meta impact, uh, but it, it's kind of it's kind of cool. Uh, Zenith Flare says, "Come at me, bro." Though, like that's <laughs> outshines it. But it's all it's whatever. Um, Containment Priest. This is interesting. The art on this is 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 real interesting. Here we have a non planeswalker that looks like this. Um, I don't know that that's the special art. I don't. I don't know because it's like we have varying degrees of art types. Does that look kind of white on this side, kind of black on that side? I don't know. I don't know what that art is because I'm wondering if that's the extended. But then we go over here and it's just look at me. I'm this pathetic zoomed in picture that just barely reaches the edges and this one's like bet I'm gonna fill up the entire card and it's a non planeswalker it's weird I don't know maybe the cool art is actually gonna do something this time around uh, anyway containment priest one colorless one white I know it's a reprint but I'm not familiar with the card I have you know I've been playing for like a year or something like that uh, flash if a non-token creature card went into the battlefield and it wasn't cast except what does that, what does that mean Exile it instead. What does that even mean? So does that mean like there's no such thing as a cast? I so like if it was part of a spell that was cast, that would make more sense to say. So like cathartic reunion or not cathartic reunion, forbidden friendship. So like if those tokens come out, would they still come out because they're considered cast? Because technically, no token is ever considered cast. And what about tokens generated from ability? Like, is this, is this just Field of the Dead Hate? 
That's such a strangely worded card. I have no idea. Uh, Teferi's Ageless Insight. Two colors, two blue. Legendary Enchantment. If you would draw a card, except the first one you draw on each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. That's not degenerate as hell. <laughs> That's so... If you would draw a card except for the first one, you draw on each of your draw steps. Draw two cards. That's so dumb. For four mana. Oh, that's bad. On an enchantment. At least it's legendary. Desolator Magic would be happy with that. But, oh my god, that's so degenerate. A uh, Teferi, Master of Time. Two colors, two blues. The same as the last one. Uh, you may activate... For, th for three loyalty, you may activate loyalties of Teferi, Master of Time on any player's turn. Anytime you could cast an instant. So you get to tick this guy up. What? Uh, oh. Once on your turn and once on your opponent's turn. So you can plus one and then minus. Minus target creature you control. No, target creature you don't control phases out. I read roughly what phasing is. I think it's like... You make a creature phase out. And then, like at the beginning of the following turn, it phases either in or out. I, I'm not 100% sure. Minus 10, take two extra turns after this one. That's some degenerate nonsense. So, wow. Oh my god. I I was afraid that this was not as bad as the fake one that got released. The fake one said, Flash, plus one, uh, dr look at the top two cards of your library, add one to your hand, minus one, uh, blink a Blink a permanent, any permanent, and then minus five, take an extra turn. That was bad because you could just hold him up with counterspell magic. Number one, you could just hold him up with counterspell magic, and if whatever they played wasn't worth countering, you just flash him in the end step. Number two, it was bad because you can look at the top two cards of your library and grab, dig for counterspell magic. This is just as bad because, if not worse, no, it's worse. It's totally worse because you take an extra, you can take an extra two turns instead of one, and you plus every turn, so you get to cycle through your deck. I mean, I guess it's not quite as bad because your hand size isn't increasing with the plus. You're just cycling through what you need, but you're still cycling through your counterspell magic. I mean, come on, that's that's a little bonkers. Um, Tori's protege, uh, two colorless, one blue, and uh, human wizard for two three. Uh, pay one and one blue, tap, draw a card, then discard a card. Good for uh, sealed. Spark Hunter Masticore. Three colorless artifact creature Masticore. Uh, as an additional cost to the spell, discard a card. Okay, I guess for a 3 4 for 3. Protection from Planeswalkers. That's interesting. I don't think we've seen that before. Uh, pay one, Spark Hunter Masticore deals one damage. Start Planeswalker. Pay three, Spark Hunter Masticore gains indestructible. Wow, that's interesting. That's pretty good sideboard material. Um, anyone running white that really doesn't want to deal with Planeswalkers is going to run that alongside the um, Eidolon of Obstruction, I think it's called. Uh, new Liliana card. Uh, like the art. Pretty neat. Uh, Liliana Walker of the Dead. Two colorless, two black. Legendary Planeswalker Liliana. Plus one. Oh, for four. Plus one. Each opponent discards a card. Each opponent who can't loses five life. What the frick? Wow, okay, that's... Wait, is that a 5 or 3? There's no way that's a 5. That's a 3, okay, I can't read. That's fine. Target creature... That'll really help in the end game, for sure. Uh, minus 3, target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. Uh, I mean, that could be interesting, I guess. It's spot removal. Get, uh. Excuse me, gets around indestructible. That's interesting. I guess. Uh, minus seven, you get an emblem with the beginning of combat on your turn. Put target creature from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control of can taste. Wow! And you can do that turn three, while your opponent is losing resources to deal with things. Mm. Wow! Okay. That's interesting. Cool art. Regular art's pretty uninspired, but whatever. Rune Halo, I know that was in, what, Ultimate Masters? Let's see. Two white. Enchantment. As Ruin ha Halo enters the battlefield, choose a card name. You have protection from the chosen card name. 
can't be targeted, dealt damage, or enchanted by anything with that name. Uh, are they bringing back enchant player crap? Because, like, as far as I know, like, it says you have protection, not you and creatures you control, so. So. It gets around things like Thought Erasure and uh, Agonizing Remorse, but I don't believe the Duress, because Duress is just each opponent discards a non-creature. Or you look at each opponent's hand, something like that. It, I just know it's non-targeting. Uh, Tormod's Crypt, zero mana. Oh, zero mana cards. Those are never bad. Um, artifact, uncommon. Sacrifice Tormod's Crypt, exile all, all cards from target player's graveyard. Isn't Soul Guiding Lantern just a better version of that? I mean, it's not free, so I guess maybe that's why. I don't know. Hmm. All right, uh, fierce impact. That I believe is from Scourge. I played during that day, so I, I, I recognize the name. Different art. Uh, two colorless, one green. Creature elf, uncommon. When fierce impact enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card. Can convert a mana cost six or greater. Reveal it. Put it into your hand and shuffle your library. It's interesting. Could see some shenanigans with that. Um, okay. Give Green Stompy something to look forward to, maybe. Uh, Azusa, Lost But Seeking. For some reason, I'm thinking that's from Kamigawa, but I could be wrong. I also played during that time. Uh, glad to see you've updated Arena, but I'm talking about spoilers right now. Uh, Azusa, the Lost But Seeking. Let's see, Legendary Creature, Human Monk, Rare. You may put play two additional land cards on each of your turns. Holy shit. Um, I don't think that's necessary. I feel like the Dryad of the Elysian Grove is more resilient and lets your mana all tap for any color, but only lets you play one additional card, or one additional land for that turn. Um, so it looks like this one would just contribute to degeneracy. So we'll have to see if anything happens with that. Grim Tutor, I heard about this one. Uh, one colorless, two black, sorcery, mythic rare. Jeez. Search your library for a card, put the card into your hand, then shuffle your library. You lose three life. Not sure why they decided to put this in here. It was only available in the starter set many, many ages ago. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about Ugin real quick. I'm not sure why a card like Grim Tutor and Ugin... The Spirit Dragon are in a core set. Those two cards are going to be the most expensive cards in the set. Who knows what's going to happen when stuff from the set like Teferi, you know, become meta. Like, it's, it's, this is, and on top of the fact that we have a collector's booster of this, this is going to be a, for those, for the, you know, handful of you, if I'm lucky, you can be count, counted in multiples on one hand. But for those of you still listening, um, be careful of this set, because this set's going to be an insane amount of money. On top of people getting free money, uh, on top of Grim Tutor and Ugin the Ineffable, or uh, Ugin the Spirit Dragon being in here, on top of whatever else becomes meta, on top of whatever else becomes meta in, like, Commander or, you know, whatever other formats... This is going to be a very expensive set that's going to be extremely resilient to the arbitrage factor, much like Ikoria. Um, I know Rudy had a big part in that because he doesn't know how to run a PayPal. But aside from that, this set was still going to be fairly strong because of people getting their free money. So just just watch this set. It is going to be money. If you're on the fence about getting it or certain cards, you might want to just buy a couple collector's boxes, to be completely honest, if you, you know have avenues to resell or you're planning on playing you know it, it's going to be money I don't think it's going to hit that arbitrage wall for a few months until after release with things like Tudor and Ugin whatever becomes meta okay next uh, double vision three colorless two red I saw this already uh, enchantment whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn copy that spell you may choose and targets for the copy insanely degenerate thank you Mark Rosewater for including this in here uh, Desolator Magic did a video on what Mark loved best about the game, and what he loves best about the game is all the shit everyone hates, so thanks for that. Glad to have a uh, non-legendary enchantment that will copy the first instant or sorcery spell you cast, so 
4 damage shock, 6 damage shock, if you have more of these out, just anything in any color. It doesn't say red only. Not a good card. Not a good card to look forward to. Either is this guy. Mangara the Diplomat. 3 white. Or 3 colorless, 1 white. Legendary creature, human cleric, uh, mythic, lifelink. Whenever an opponent attacks with creatures, if two or more of those creatures are attacking, you, and or planeswalkers you control, draw a card. Uh, whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn, draw a card. That's... No, not in white. Not at all, to be honest, but especially in white. Prison decks, anyone? For standard or historic? That's not going to be fun to play against whatsoever. Uh, Veto Th Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Not sure why this is all, like, blocked out, but whatever. Um, two Carlos, one black. Legendary creature, vampire, cleric, and rare. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. That can get out of hand very quickly. Especially for the next three months, at least. For things like, uh... Ah, oh jeez, what's the cleric where... Cruel Celebrant? Whenever a non... Is it non no, it's whenever a creature dies. Whenever a creature you control dies. Um, your opponent loses one life, you gain one life. So turn that into your opponent loses two life and you gain one life. Uh, for three generic and two black creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, with that. Wow. Okay. So in case you don't have Soren, the one from the War of the Spark out, which gives your creatures lifelink, until, uh, or as long as it's your turn. Ooh, and even when it's not your turn, just turn this on. Ooh, that's a oh, holy crap. Oh my god. Play a Wrath on your turn when you have enough on the board. Ooh. I mean, it, does it, will that trigger? Like, if you, I don't think, I don't think he triggers. If it gets Wrath, I'm pretty sure it doesn't trigger because the stack happens. But I don't know, because... I don't know, because things like Judith and the Black Knight that let you draw a card and lose one life when a non-creature... when a non-token creature dies... But they all die at the same time. That's when it happens. You haven't... I don't, th I don't think it would work. But anyway, problematic card. Alright, this next dude. Uh, Basri Ket. One color is two white. Put a plus one, plus one counter on up to two target creatures. On up to one target creature. Gains indestructible until the end of turn. That's a little crazy. Oh, three loyalty, by the way. Uh, minus two whenever one or more... God, I can't even read this guy. Whenever, uh... Whenever one... I think, I think... Because I've seen it before, I think I remember what it says. Like, whenever one or more, like, creatures you're controlling or attack... Are attacking... Um, create that many 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens that are tapped and attacking. That's a little insane. Uh, minus 6, you get an emblem with the, at the beginning of combat on your turn. Create a 1-1 one, one soldier uh, some white soldier creature token. Uh, something It gets a plus 1 plus 1 counter. or Give it a plus 1 plus 1 counter. No, create the token, and then each creature gets a plus one, plus one counter. Each creature you control gets a plus one, plus one counter. Something crazy. Uh, okay, that was difficult. Uh, Bastry's Acolyte, two colorless, two white. Cleric Cat, lifelink for two, three, common. Uh, when Bastry's Acolyte enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to two other target creatures you control. Uh... Put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to two other target creatures you control. I'd like a little more if instead it was it was worded to where if you just had one other creature you could put two counters on it. Um, but I understand why. I mean, it's obvious why it isn't itself because then you just have a four three four five for four with life length. That's a little insane. Though I guess if you have other acolytes, you could just do that. But it's for four mana, so it's like eh. <coughs> 
Demonic Embrace, one generic, two black, Enchantment Aura, rare. Enchant Creature, Enchant Creature gets plus three, plus one, has flying, and is a demon to addition to its other types. Okay. Uh, you may cast Demonic Embrace from your graveyard by paying three life and discarding card in addition to... What? Really? Does anyone else see what's wrong with this? Where's the clause that says if you do this, when it leaves the field, exile it? So, you're telling me mid to late game, no card that you draw is a dead draw. That's broken. That is insanely broken. I don't care if you have to pay 3 life. That's insanely broken. Oh, did you top deck a land? Looks like you can discard it for your Demonic Embrace. Oh, did you top deck something not a land? That's useful? Play that instead. Oh, is it useless? Play Demonic Embrace. That's busted. Um, Baneslayer Angel 3, generic to white. Creature Angel, mythic, flying, first strike, lifelink, protection from demons and from dragons. Okay. Interesting, I guess. Ugin the Spirit Dragon. I don't know why this card's in standard. I wasn't around when it was in standard, but I've heard people talk about it, and they hated it. And I don't have to be around to know that it's a problematic card. It's an 8 cost Planeswalker for 8 generic mana that can be put into any deck. And if the deck runs ramp, oh my god. This is going to be fun. It is going to be fun to see what happens to this meta. I mean, at least it'll cycle out in rotation, but that's, you know, 15 months away. Hopefully we see... Because right about at the time of Eldraine, they had, they were three sets already out in designing. So we should see the power level come down. On the plus side, we should see the power level come down in the next three sets. That's where we should be seeing it be brought back down, hopefully. Hopefully they've learned their mistakes by then. On the flip side, we still... we So basically it's going to be... A four, mostly a four-set format. It's going to be Eldraine, Theros, Ikoria, and M21. Anyway, let's redo again the Spirit Dragon. Um, I'm a little miffed because, like, a year-ish or so ago, I went in on these guys, not like, an, you know, just for a collection. So I have one of each of, uh, heck, maybe, maybe Mythical Editions will go up? I don't know. Anyway, um, I have one of each of this guy for uh, for my collection. Not looking to seeing those drop in price. Also wasn't wild about the idea of collecting these guys again, but I think initially I'll just collect the, the special showcase frames, and it looks like it's just going to be the Teferi style. I don't know, though. Because this is... So are they all going to have... So is Liliana going to have a Teferi-like frame? And then this is the extended... Oh my god, that shouldn't be the case. No, that definitely shouldn't be the case. Because... I don't know what they're going to do. But I know for a fact that shouldn't be the case. Because for the entire history of collector's boosters... Like even in Eldraine, it was we had Oko, regular and then we had Oko Showcase Frame. For Theros, it was Elspeth Regular, Elspeth Showcase Frame. And there was like no... Ext I don't know. I just... I hope they don't have three different types of Showcase Frames for Planeswalkers. Anyway. Uh, Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Eight generic mana Planeswalker that you can throw into literally anything. I don't think there's ever been a Planeswalker like him. I don't think we've ever had generic Planeswalkers outside of, you know, well, we've had Karn. So Karn. So Karn and Ugin so far have been the only ones. But anyway. Uh, costs 8. Legendary Planeswalker Ugin M21. Mythic. Plus 2. Starts with 7. Plus 2. Ugin the Spirit Dragon deals 3 damage to any target. Dialed back Oko. Okay, sure. Plus on removal. That's nice. Uh... Minus X. Exile each permanent with with converted mana, mana cost X or less that has one or more colors. So if you drop him in and everything on the field 
is less than him, you can wipe everything. If it's six or less, he'll still be there. That's fun. Um, minus ten, gain seven life, draw seven cards, and then put up seven permanent cards from your hand to the battlefield. Insane. You can ultimate him the third turn after he comes out, and he'll still be alive. Massacre Worm. Three colorless, three black. Creature Worm Mythic. When Massacre Worm enters the battlefield, creatures your opponent control get a minus two, minus, get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Whenever a creature an opponent control dies, that player loses two life. I, I guess it's interesting. I wasn't around when this was legal either. Um, it could end the game. It could also do nothing. So, not sure. It's fine. I'm sure there's some shenanigans will happen, but nothing nearly as broken as Ugin and, like, Teferi. But, oh, this... That's got me a little worried. I already said this set's gonna be worth money, but you can bet that even more so if there's, like, the standard Planeswalker frame, the showcase Planeswalker frame, like, the extended border frame, and then whatever they want to call this. Like, like this frame style... have to see. Alright, that's all I got. Uh, hope whoever is still listening, thanks for thanks for listening. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I might do more spoiler videos. I might not. Like I said, I was just waiting for the update to happen here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot. See ya.